Hi everyone, my name is Bindu. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about KPIs in Power BI. KPIs are Key Performance Indicators. So in this video, we are going to see how to create these KPIs and also when to use these KPIs. So let's get started. These KPIs are Key Performance Indicators and these performance indicators these key performance indicators will, will give us some information which tells us if we have made enough progress to reach our measurable goal every company every organization it has a goal and and that organization will work hard to reach that goal right the organizations usually set up the goal uh, so they take previous years or they they usually take previous years profits previous years sales to um, to create the goals for this year so you create the measurable goal let's say uh, the company let's say your organization has made 1 million dollars last year so that will be your goal for next next year so that will be your goal for this year you you your organization need to make at least 1 million dollars this year or more than that so that one million dollars is your measurable goal okay so so these key performance indicators will help you will help you to understand how much progress you have made to reach your goal so now let's see how to create these key performance indicators in power bi if you look at my screen here this is a retail analysis sample report i got this from microsoft site uh, after finishing this demo, I'll include this in the description box below. You can download it from there as well. <coughs> so, uh, in this report, I want to create a KPI. I want to create a KPI visual which shows me if I'm making a progress or not reaching my goal. Okay. So, um, so firstly, before creating a KPI, you need to create measures. Okay. Usually, so usually organizations uh, goal would be to reach previous uh, would be previous years sales or previous years profits or previous years something related to previous year so based on your organization's requirement please create a goal which is measurable okay you create previous year's goal and you need to create this year's uh, this year's measure as well so uh, you need to have a measure which tells you what's the sales this year what's the uh, what what the, how many number of units were sold this year until today or until yesterday or until last month okay so you need to create these measures first and then once you create measures you start creating the kpi in my example i have already uh, i already have these measures created so um, so my kpi is dependent on these two measures total units this year so this is the calculation for that and total units last year okay so this is the calculation for um, for uh, last year total units last year measure so now let's start creating the kpi so um i so i want to so how will i know if i'm reaching my goal or not i need total total units this year right so i'll take this one i'll select this total units this year uh, measure first i have this now and you need to break this by month right and you have time here you have a time data set here and go there go there and get the month column from there okay and make sure you and before converting this kpi in this uh, visual before converting this kpi into visual please make sure that your data is sorted properly because once you change it to kpi there is no way for you to change the sort order okay so you need to make sure that you sort the data properly in the right order. So you are sorting by fiscal month, okay? 
okay so once this is sorted so once your data is sorted in the right order you just have to go select the kpi visual here okay so now you have something on your kpi visual but this kpi has to tell you if you are reaching the goal or not so for that you need to bring in your goal measure you need to bring in your goal measure which is total units last year okay this you need to bring this column to target goals because that is your target goal you need to you need to make sure your organization need to make sure that you are reaching the target goal okay so now once you drag this total units last year into target goals you see something here so your so what's your kpi is telling here is if you look closely your goal is telling you that your kpi is telling you that you are 18% behind your goal okay so you can click on this uh, dots here and you can uh, and you can click on this show as table and here when you click this your data will show you how many units sold this year versus last year that way you will uh, that way you will get the detailed understanding of the data as well so this is how you create a kpi in power bi uh, and also uh, when do you actually use this kpi is when your requirement says you need to see how the how much progress is made compared to last year in that case you can use this kpi i hope this is clear now so this is about kpis in power bi some of you are posting me some questions uh, in the comment sections and i'm really sorry i'm not able to answer all of your questions uh, right now um, my schedule is very hectic but i'll definitely try to answer all of your questions as soon as possible I hope you'll understand. See you in the next video. Thank you.